let's take a look at relative coordinates. You start at 0, 4, you move right 6 units, and up 2 units. Where do you end? Okay, well they plotted the first point for us, right? 0, 4 is this point you see right here. And you're going to move 6 units right, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 to the right, and then up 1, 2. So you can see that we land on the point 6, 6. You start at 7, 5, okay, that's our point right here, and you move right 2 units and up 3 units. So let's count. 2 to the right, and then up, 1, 2, 3. And you can see we land at 9, 8. You start at 7, 0. You move left 5 units and up 10 units. Okay, so starting here at 7, 0, left 5. Okay, so we're going to go to the left. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then up 10 units. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You start at three, five. You move left one unit and up three units. Okay, so left one and then up one, two, three. You start at eight, eight you move right two units and down three units. Okay, so from here we're gonna go right one, two, and down one, two, three. You start at seven, zero, you move left three units and up nine units. Where do you end? Okay, so from here we're gonna go left, one, two, three, and then up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You start at 5, 3, you move left 3 units and up 1 unit. Okay, so we're going to go to the left, 1, 2, 3, and up 1. So notice for all of these, because they're going by 1s, right, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, if we look at the label on the x-axis and the same on y, they're going up by 1, we can just count those number of boxes. So in this case, if we're starting at 0, 2, if we move right seven units and up three, I can just count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven to the right, and up one, two, three. 